All right, so you're thinking about moving, relocating here to the Portland Metro, and you wanna save a little bit of money. Well, we've come up with how many? Seven. Seven of the top hacks for you to save money when moving to Portland, Oregon. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Jackson Ray Wilkie. And Jesse Ray Dow. And we are the Real Agent Now Group right here in the Portland Metro. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about Portland, Oregon, well, we do tons and tons of videos, everything you need to know. So make sure you tap that subscribe button and you click the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. And we get lots and lots of phone calls, emails, texts every single day of people moving to relocate here. And we absolutely love it. If you're thinking about moving, relocating, make sure you reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even send that pigeon carrier. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back with moving to the Portland Metro. So we came up with seven hacks. You know, this is not just us making things up. We've had so many people move, relocate, call us, and we're finding out new ways that we can save you a lot of money, time, and energy, and pain when moving to the Portland Metro. So we're gonna jump into these seven hacks. I'm telling you right now, the seventh one, you absolutely must stay till the end to find out because it's the most important. All right, so the number one hack that we gotta go over, and I remember this when I moved here, was furniture. Should you keep it? Should it go? j -Dell, let them know. <laughs> yeah, so the furniture, you know, obviously is a huge important thing to everyone's life. You know, some people have an ottoman from their grandmother. Some people have a hide bed from the 80s. It's all good. The one thing that I do know is that, you know, some furniture fits in your current house that won't maybe fit in your new house. The one thing that we can do if it's really important for you to know all the measurements is we can actually have a 3D CAD design scan of the new home and sent to you in all different formats. So you know if that, you know, ottoman fits in your new house and you can also figure out exactly what space to put it in. But the one thing I'd highly recommend doing is leaving and donating all furniture that you're not gonna bring with you because it takes up a lot of space and it's super bulky. And I can tell you firsthand, a lot of you know who watching that I moved here just a couple years ago, I brought so much you know, furniture, couches, stuff that I ended up having to put in the truck and sell when I got here. So a lot of it won't fit. If you don't need it, get rid of it and get new here. It's gonna save you time, money, and energy. But number two, you got rid of the furniture you don't want and you're packing things up. How do they find boxes, paper, all that stuff? Yeah, so there's a lot of great options of uh, when you're out searching for the utility tools that you need to get all your belongings packed up. The first place I always look is the app called Nextdoor. You can go on there, you can find lots of people that have already moved and they don't wanna break their boxes down or they have a ton of boxes that they've already broken down and they're just looking to get rid of them. So a second great option is to check Craigslist. You can also check the liquor store and Costco is another great resource. And if you want that butcher paper, I don't go to the store and buy that regular paper because heck, I'll be honest, it's super expensive and I like to save money. So what I do is I go to my local cash and carry and I buy butcher paper in bulk. Another place that I found that sells this is any construction supply store. This is gonna save you a ton of money because they sell these giant rolls like this for about 30 bucks. All right, so the third hack, those beautiful appliances, the refrigerators, the ovens, the houses here typically have them. Like, what's up with that? Yeah, so the one thing that I'd highly recommend is, you know, when we put in that, you know, accepted offer for you, we're gonna negotiate on your behalf to get all the appliances. Here in Portland, the refrigerator, the washer and dryer are all negotiable, but the stove, fireplace, and a few other uh, utilities and appliances are sta must stays. So that's one thing that we should have a conversation about is one, do you want the uh, appliances that are in the house currently? And two, do you wanna buy some new appliances when you move into your new house? The one thing that um, I highly recommend based on my experience is people typically wanna buy new appliances when they buy their new house. And we also have additional home warranties that can cover all the appliances that are pre-existing and appliances that you're buying. But washer and dryers, fridges, they always come with the manufacturer warranty. So I would just use the standard manufacturer warranty for those things that you buy. And then you can also talk to us about the home warranties that we have to purchase here. And we can see what the best option is for you moving forward. All right, so the number four hack, and this one's actually about spending a little bit of money, but it's about those movers. And again, I can relate. The first two times that I moved, I did it all myself, and it is a pain in the butt. You get in fights with the spouse. It's not worth it. But I was 
actually shocked that it doesn't cost that much to get these movers. You know, you can find some really good movers. Once I got the truck, they come in and they consulted my house. They found out where everything goes, so that saved me money because I didn't need two trucks or a trailer. But it was actually only about $200 cash, and I was able to get them for like two or three hours, and they did everything for me. So the headache was worth it, you know, but do we have companies here, or what do you recommend with movers? Yeah, we definitely have companies here. You know, there's companies that can move you from the state you're moving from to Portland or even just local. But the one thing I would recommend, it really depends on whether or not you're comfortable driving a moving truck. Because the most equitable thing, like Jackson was mentioning, is having a company that can come in and pack up all your belongings that you currently own and put those in the truck for you. It's a couple hundred bucks and it gets done in a very efficient manner. Work. And they can get more stuff in the truck because they're professionals. They know how to put the pieces to the puzzles together. It's Tetris, baby. And. Uh, Another great option would be getting a pod. You know, you can put all your stuff in your pod, you can head out here, and then your stuff's delivered for you once you arrive. Yeah, those actually get stored for a little bit so they'll show up when you're ready. All right, so we're working our way down this list. Uh, these are things that are really gonna help you save time, money, but if you still wanna know everything about Portland, again, this channel's all about it, so make sure you tap that subscribe button. Click the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. So the fifth thing we wanna talk about is, okay, you got all packed up, you got your stuff here, and maybe your house isn't ready, or you wanna take a little bit of time to figure the area out. How about short-term rentals versus long-term rentals? Do we have short-term rentals? Yeah, we definitely have short-term rentals. The great thing that I really love and recommend is going to Airbnb, and they always have a monthly rental rate. You know, you can find a really great rental in a place that you're actually maybe purchasing your house or wanting to live for. You know, you can get the whole thing on a monthly basis for around $2,000. And if that's too much, you know, there's gonna be other options in other cities, just depending on your budget and exactly what you're looking for. And if you want that condo living downtown, you can stay at the end at the Northrop station where they got free parking, they got free brewskis. Brewskis! On Thursday, and then free <laughs> wine Wednesday. So that's another great alternative. They got in-home kitchenettes. It's kind of like studio living right downtown in Knob Hill. And you can get that either by the day, by the week, by mm -hmm. the month, and by the year. Yeah, and that's gonna be a great way for you to feel out your area that's one thing you know we don't want you getting in the wrong area so airbnb it for a month or two and, and get, really get the feeling for it number six i'm going to touch on this this hack oh my gosh i wish i knew this and it's the daycare scene some of you have already heard this before but i'm telling you the number one thing if you got them kiddos younger ones you want to lock in that daycare it is so difficult a lot of them are packed up lots of families kiddos are all moving here and we struggled we ended up having to pay an arm and a leg and a lot of the comments reach outs we get are about that too so lock that stuff in first and foremost it's going to help you just really find one in your area which saves you money and time and gas and energy uh, but at the same time it's going to save you some money you will meet some groups some the friends family neighbors who will help you find you know closer daycares and stuff too i found that but lock in the daycare but number seven the big kahuna which you stayed here for to save the most money what do they got to do? They got to reach out to the dream team here. They got to reach out okay, to the so dream team. Go through the process why you save money and why our tours help them save money by getting in the right area. Yeah, so the one thing that we want to do is we actually want to get on the phone with you on a Zoom call. Everyone knows what Zoom is now, so we're super thankful for that, but it's something that we've been doing for a long time. We're going to get to know you and exactly why you're moving out to Portland. We want to know exactly what your lifestyle is like, maybe where you're going to work at and exactly what you guys are looking for. Then with our trusted team, we put together a beautiful home search. So therefore, if you're say two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months out, what we can do is we can start sending you houses in that area that fit in your budget so you can see exactly what you're gonna be looking for. But with our trusted team, we know exactly how to get you into the house of your dreams. The one thing I would highly note is that we've had a lot of clients move out here that have bought sight unseen and it's worked out amazingly. But those clients came out and toured the area first. Yep. We've had clients that have done it the other way where they bought sight on scene and never came to the area, had never visited Portland, and they ended up wanting to sell the house that they moved into even after our recommendation that it wasn't a great area. So we really want to get you to know the area and get to know our team before making those decisions. Yeah, these are processes that we've absolutely mastered. So we really want to show these areas and, and tell you what it's like to live there. We don't want you too far from what you like, what you want to do. So um, that's exactly what we do. We have this process dialed and we want to help you. In order to do that, you got to reach out to us. You got to give us a call. You got to shoot us a text, send us an email, or send us that pigeon carrier. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back on moving to the Portland Metro. And until that next video, what? We'll catch you later. We'll catch you later. Thank you.